Let's face it, change is hard and transitions can be destabilizing. I found it useful to know that feeling that way after a breakup is natural. It can be messy and we can expect to go through a lot of ups and downs over a non-specific period of time. Circling back to the importance of practicing being okay with feeling our emotions. When we're with someone for a period of time, we establish energetic cords of connections, and losing those connections is what creates the feeling of instability. You get cut off from a source of energy that you're used to, and that can be challenging. Ideally, we're working on providing ourselves our own energy. After a breakup, I had to learn it's okay to lean a little on your other support systems. We also develop certain roles within our relationships, which come with certain dynamics and habits. Some are healthy, some are not. We often choose our partner depending on what kind of energy we need at the time. Then when a relationship is formed, there can be unspoken agreements. You're going to provide me this kind of energy and I will provide you this kind of energy. It's natural. We attract people based on our level of consciousness. The reason we separate is usually because of the realization that we can no longer grow if we continue to play those roles. But when you're no longer receiving that energy, there's a void. And because we still desire that energy, we can feel conflicted. And that may be why we doubt whether we made the right decision or not. This dynamic exists within all relationships, not just intimate ones. So it may be worth inspecting if you can notice said roles. For example, given my history of depression and anxiety, I've often attracted caretakers. Meaning when I was in a low place, naturally they would step up and support me. It sounds nice, right? Until we both get so lost in those roles that the relationship couldn't function outside of them. And it's rarely just one-sided. Sometimes caretakers find their value by helping others. Can you see where I'm going with this? I only got love from them when I was low. They only felt their value by lifting me up. In a way, we both benefited from me being the unstable, anxious one. That means the times when I was doing well and feeling confident, the relationship couldn't work. In my case, I couldn't see this dynamic until the relationship ended. It became a perpetual cycle of unconscious actions and behaviors to keep these roles in place. And this perspective might not have been possible to access while we were together. But of course, not all relationships have to end for you to make improvements. But you might want to develop your awareness of any roles you may be playing for each other. When you're aware, you can decide what you want. And things are always changing. For example, the kind of care and support I needed at the beginning of the relationship wasn't isn't the same as what I needed at the end. In retrospect, I can be grateful that they were able to provide the support I needed, and I'm also grateful for the courage I had to create something new. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for a special cord cutting meditation to help you replace any energy you may have lost during a breakup, or if you just want to practice recharging with your own energy. See you next time. Grab your free ebook below to receive weekly inspirational content and be the first to know when a new video drops.